Steve talks about his musical influences and the making of No More Crying and some other stuff. We're going to talk all about it coming right up. Stay tuned. And now it's time for Steve Perry News with Gary Stuckey. All Steve Perry News. Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey. Welcome back to another episode of Steve Perry News. Steve Perry was over on RollingStone.com talking about his five most influential songs of all time. That was yesterday. Uh, maybe you saw it. But, uh, you know, talking about the, uh, the drifters under the boardwalk, you know, uh, talking about the flamingos, talking about the Beach Boys with their harmonies. Steve is all about some harmonies. Uh, and of course his number one uh, most influential person and in song was Cupid by uh, Sam Cooke. Of course you can hear it every time Steve sings. You can hear that influence of Sam Cooke. Sam was such an awesome singer and Steve is too and you can hear it in his uh, songs such an influence. Uh, in fact the first time I ever heard Steve Perry was singing Love and Touch and Squeezing and my dad was a DJ and he played that song and he's like it's Sam Cooke sound <laughs> who's this guy he was Steve Perry uh, but then Steve talks about another band and song he said he first time he ever heard of it he almost pooped his pants you know TMI Steve TMI but anyway uh, that's pretty funny uh, the song is, of course, uh, Good Times, Bad Times, a rocking song, uh, Led Zeppelin. Um, so, Led Zeppelin influenced a lot of people, you know. So, Steve has a wide variety of tastes and influences, and you can hear it in his vocals. So, you go from Sam Cooke, mellow, kind of, you know, soul and R&B, to the rockin' Robert Plant type stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. You gotta love it, right? Uh, and Steve was over on social media giving a link to his YouTube video he just uh, released talking about the making of No More Crying. And uh, he talks about how that song is about him coming out of isolation, which a lot of people assume that anyway. But uh, And also hinting around at some things, you know, of his feelings, you know, and uh, talking about the past, he said, you know. So there's some issues there. He's... He's explaining, uh, but I think the first three songs they released talks about that. Talks about him coming out of isolation and uh, getting reacquainted with music and kind of talking about the past, you know. So those three things are part of what this album is about. And then of course talking about Kelly, you know. And uh, Steve is going to be on Sirius XM. Once again, tomorrow on the Beatles channel, on channel 18 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So check that out, and they'll be replaying it some more for you through the weekend. So can't wait for that. Steve's everywhere, and there's nothing wrong with that. Still waiting to hear some uh, more info, hopefully about a tour or something, right? We'll be waiting and seeing, and I'll be back a little bit later with some more information. Hey, this is Gary Stuckey. Don't stop believing, everybody. God bless you.